Dennis Cometti here for the clash between Essendon and the Magpies. It's good to be back. Boy, did I miss it here in Melbourne. Matthew Richardson is my comrade in the box for this match. Welcome, Richo. Hi, Dan. Can't wait for this one to start. Even though it's an exhibition match, Dennis, we expect that both teams will want to win. Banners ready for the players. Banners ready for the players. Umpire tosses the coin. Calling would win the toss. Just waiting for the opening siren now. The game has commenced. It's not about being better than someone else. It's about being better than you were the day before. Stewart with the tap. Bounces favorably for Trelaw. Trelaw gets the tap. With the ball now. Strong mark. Boots it. The contest, no match for him. Bumps the big skin. Hook it, marks it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Kicks. The mark by Saab. Bumps the big skin. Takes that one strongly. Boots it. Taken by Stringer. Kicks. Taken by Merrick. Merrick. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. Fantasiak with the shot. Howe gathers the ball, he hits it. That was a great bump, and the ball is out of play. Ruckman hard at it. Grundy timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. The Bombers get a goal. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Grundy really gets onto this one. He gets his hands on the footy. Hipple gives the ball to the man on the run. Stewart getting into position for the kick. Choose to kick it. A great effort. Fantasia just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Kicks it. Great mark under pressure. 40 metres from home. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. A goal for the Bombers. That's two in a row for the Bombers. Pressure really being applied now at this early stage. Stick the magpies. Good bounce. Bill Chambers with the first touch. Stewart kicks. Wins the hard ball. Myers kicking the skin off that one. Strong mark by McDonald, Tip and Woody. 30 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Slots it. The Bombers getting out to an early lead. McDonald, Tip and Woody has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Grundy taps it, scoops up the bouncing ball. The loose ball picked up. The Bombers have had so much possession they haven't had to lay too many tackles. Collingwood just can't get their hands on the ball. He kicks the ball. Goldsack kicks it. He handballs it. Pendlebury goes for goal. Pendlebury with a long goal. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Grundy timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. He handballs it. Stewart throws it. Clear as day. Heads up the corridor. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Strong mark by Trelaw. It kicks quickly. Grundy gets the upper hand. 
Jams it on the boot. The mark is taken by Miller. The Essendon big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the, the Bombers scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Sending it on its way. Reed, just the better man in that contest. He boots it. He gets it under pressure. Sending it on its way. He grabs it. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's OK to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. A magnificent kick right through the middle. Two goals will see Collingwood in the lead. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Bill Chambers directs it down. With the ball now. Hipple starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the side. Hipple steers the ball towards goal. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. He's having a ball until it steals the pun. Danaher getting his first right there. Danaher obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. The ball is bounced. Clean tap by Grundy. A favourable bounce. Sweeping handball. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rue that one. Crisp with the tap. He has the ball. Fantasia aiming for the goals. Chalk up a goal for the Bombers. Essendon have scored the last two goals. Collingwood already trailing by an uncomfortable margin. Fantasia has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. Has it now, booted by Wells. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Elliott a long way out, going for goal number one. All eyes are watching. What a goal from a mammoth kick. Collingwood need to be careful not to let this one run away from them. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Palms it down nicely. Golsack bucks. Merritt is streaming past and gets the footy. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Collingwood just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. He steadies now in front of goal. He boots it. Stewart, with good strong hands, puts boot to ball. Crisp takes the mark. He kicks it long. Adams marks the ball. That play was as high-tech as a camp for He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Going for goal number one. Pasolo kicks a Rock Hudson type kick. Don't see those too often. They look straight, but they're not. Hurley will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Jams it on the boot. Great mark under pressure. Gleason globs the pass. Elliott bumped off the ball. Rooted by Trelaw. Hurley presents and takes the mark. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Saad gathers it. Vasolik with the tap. Bumped by Hoskin Elliott. The spilled ball is collected. Bill Chambers really gets onto this one. Trelaw with the tap. The bouncing ball is controlled. Saad comes away with the ball. With the ball now. He's got the football now. Myers shoots off the handball. Fantasia claims the ball. A set shot on a 30 degree angle. Going for goal number two. Fantasia just makes the goal line. The Bombers starting to exert some dominance over Collingwood with a lead of 36 to 19. Fantasia can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. He's got the footy in his hands. An easy grab for Danaher. Danaher launches one towards goal. The Bombers with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading the Magpies 42 to 19. Danaher is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. He gets his hands on the footy. He receives the handball. He has clearly been shopping at Clang as a Russ. Crisp puts the ball in the hands of fate. Danaher keeps it alive with the foot. Clean tap by Danaher. Kolyak taps it. McDonald, Tip and Woody. Sock is it. Superb handball. Dunn guides it. Stewart tackles too high on Maynard. Slams it on the boot. Adams enjoying a height advantage. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The Collingwood forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Goal for the Magpies. The scoreboard starting to worry the Magpies now. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Punched by Danaher. Stewart taps it. Pendlebury bumps. They've conceded possession. 
He has the ball, guided down nicely by Miller. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Nice hands. Good as this guy is the most reliable kick for goal in the side. A kick as easy as finding a mullet at a trucker's convention. Perfect kick. The bomb is by 23. All is in readiness. There's the bounce. Dana Hurt with the punch. Deft touch from Langford. Someone's on the ground. No way he'll come back after an injury like that one. Hoskin Elliott. He's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Pasolo kicks the ball. McKenna with good strong hands. He gets boot to the ball. Merritt takes a contested mark. He boots it. Heppel marks it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Broomhead wins the marking contest. He gets boot to the ball. Greenwood marks it. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high, there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. 50 metres out. Elliot taking a chance at goal. Reed has the chance to add one more to his talent. Goal. Alarm bells are sounding for Coronel. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball bouncing well. Moore can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Pendlebury heads in for the goals. Pendlebury sinks the long kick. The Magpies will need to dig deep to fix the scoreboard deficit they faced at the Bombers. The umpire has bounced the ball. Big thumb from Moore. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. Kolyuk in the back. Trims the grass with that one. Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Richo. The Bombers will be happy with the early scoreboard pressure they are applying to the Magpies. They are setting the standard out there and it will be interesting to see how the Magpies can come back after the break. Lots of points scored during that opening term. Time to check those stats. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Magpies are slightly ahead with 16 to 15. Cheers, Richo. And we go for quarter number two. Just keep going. Everybody gets better if they keep at it. Merritt gains possession through the interception. Hippel has the ball. That was all Myers. Puts boot to ball. He shouldn't have bothered. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Golsack aims for his man on the ground. Crisp goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several tick. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Merritt knocks the ball loose with a big tackle. Stewart likes his chances for goal. The bomb is back 17. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The ball bouncing well. Hit by Grundy. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. Pendlebrick with the interception. Finding the running player. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Tap by Stringer. Crisp gathers it. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Hit by Bill Chambers. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Oh, well, that was a brave shot. Good goal. Gets his first. Essendon by 23. All is in readiness. The bounce. Bell Chambers really wears his heart on his sleeve. Dishes it off to the running player. Ball up in the centre square. Claimed by Bell Chambers. A favourable bounce. Golsack somehow manages to get that ball out with all those players around him. The tackling and pressure shown by Essendon indicate that they may have the medal to go deep into September. But first things first, they need to focus on winning this match. Heppel tackles him to the ground. Trelaw gets onto the ball. The ball gets smothered. He slams that on the boot. Zaharakis misses the ball. Hand passes to the running man. Heppel with the kick. His run-up looks promising. Howe spills it. Dunn slams the ball to his boot. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Adams claims the ball. Kicked in a flurry. Strong mark by Miller. Kicked in a flurry. Perfect timing from Bill Chambers. Bill Chambers really wears his heart on his sleeve. He gets boot to the ball. Side bottom with real good use of the body. He slams that on the boot. He takes the contested mark. Heppel kicks the ball. Adams with the ball. Puts boot to ball. Great hands. 
sends it on its way. Marked by Pendlebury. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. Kicked in a flurry. Takes it well. That drop punt works well for Grundy. Opportunity now for Hoskin Elliott. 50 minutes from home. Jams it on the boot now. A good mark under the circumstances. 35 metres out. A 30 degree kick for Elliott. Elliott shoots. Perfect kick. The scoreboard starting to worry the Magpies now. The Rucks prepare to go at it to this bounce. Grundy, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Adams with the shot. That's a mark. Sending it on its way, he takes the contested mark. He slams that on the boot, he grabs it. Sending it on its way, a great mark under pressure. Reed will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. Gleason suckers it. Hooker slams it on the boot. Spilled by side bottom. He keeps the ball alive. Jumping at shadows. Shoots off the handball. I think he just wants attention. Pasolik has the chance to add one more to his tower. That's two in a row for Collingwood. Two goals can bring this back for Collingwood. The ball is bounced. Tapped by Bill Chambers. Golsack goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Takes it well. Grundy kicks it to the square. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Pendlebury kicks it. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Reed will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Hurley grabs that one. Hurley kicks out along the boundary line. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Pasolo drives the ball towards goal. The Magpies could score the last three goals. Calling with no time to drop off. Less than a kick the difference. Handballs to the running man. Look at bumped off the ball. Gains possession. Low spearing kick. Chips it down towards half forward. Goddard was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Ball goes over the line and out of play. The Ruckman jostle for position. Bill Chambers with the punch. Grundy cops it from behind. Sends the Sharon on its way. Collier, he's really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. He steadies now in front of goal. McDonald, Tip and Woody with the kick. Fantasia with the mark. Fantasia has a kick. Fantasia has slotted it through for a six-pointer. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce. Grundy taps it. He gains possession. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. De Goey with the mark. Nice drop punt. Drops the ball. The bigger the shove, the bigger the love. Hurley feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. De Goey pumping it long. Bagley claps up the misplaced footy. It's his. Hooker runs past and gets the ball. Adams the better man there. Sends it on its way. Gleason gets the ball. Soccer kick. He kicks quickly. Is in his possession. Intercepted. Hipple is streaming past and gets the footy. Phillips with the mighty fist. Has it now. McGrath gets the ball out of the pack. Elliott gets the interception on the bounce. Goal. That's his third. He's doing his job out there. The fans are really getting their money's worth. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Grundy aims for his man on the ground. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Elliott with quite a challenge in front of him. Gleason taps it. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Gains possession. Book it with the football. Bill Chambers got under it. Bill Chambers takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. Fantasia kicks it. McDonald, Tip and Woody marks the ball. The ball is slammed towards goal by McDonald, Tip and Woody. Essendon in front. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Huge leap. He picks up the loose ball. Lobs the handball. 
It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Squeezes out a handball. Stewart heads in for the goals. Takes the mark all by himself. McDonald, Tip and Woody. Pure skill. Pure skill. Essendon have scored the last two goals. The Bombers starting to exert some dominance over Collingwood with the lead of 78 to 61. McDonald, Tip and Woody has so much potential. He could just be anything. He kicks quickly, hands it out to open space, smothers, Pendlebury gets the ball. With no time to spare, he gets the ball away, guided down nicely by McKenna. Clean pick up by Broomhead, he handballs it, quick hands find the running player, Marks. Hurley has super fast reaction time, he could catch an arrow. A solid use of the body then, Hoskin Elliott dodging just for the fun of it, for Solo, with the pick up, for Solo, shoots for goal. Collingwood are trailing Essendon. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Moore taps it, puts boot to ball, slams it on the boot. Degoe taps. McKinnon with a big tackle that spills the ball loose. Parrish aims for his man on the ground. He's got the football now. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Lovely hand pass, hits the man. Golsack couldn't hang on to the ball. McDonald, Tip and Woody with the tap. Pass by Dunn, squeezes out a handball. Someone's on the ground. I think the doctor will be taking a close look at that one. Boots it. And the mark will be paid. Pendlebury handballs to his own advantage. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Choose to kick it. Good mark by Mill. Hastily kicked. And the mark will be paid. Well, it's half time. What have you got to say, Richard? The Magpies just struggling at the moment to get anything right. A lack of quality finishing and some poor decision making keeping them behind in this one. Richo, what do the stats tell us? Essendon with 83 kicks and the Magpies with 77 kicks. Not much in it. The crowd anxious. Let's get into the second half. They struggled throughout the first half, but there's still a half a game to go. Trelaw to Lex. Goes short with a hand pass. Grundy with the kick. Don't take too long lining up the goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Oscar Elliott sends the ball on its way. Broomhead claims the ball. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. Going for goal number one. He's missed the goal. Two goals will seek the Magpies in the lead. Hurley is a great kick and if he can maintain that accuracy under pressure, he'll elevate to the elite category. Gleeson boots it. That's a mark. He boots it. No one around troubling him there. He gets boot to the ball. A great mark under pressure. Puts boot to ball. He hits it. Grundy there to mop up. Adams gives the ball to the running man. He lays off the pass. It gets tapped. Puts boot to ball. Stewart knocks it down. No doubt in the umpire's mind there at all. Free kick. Great mark. Gets boot to high. Takes it well. Greenwood can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. If that was basketball, you'd call that from downtown. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Bill Chambers, with the hit, is in his possession. He's got the football now. Goes for distance. Wells claims the ball. Jams it on the boot. Hands like dinner plates. Trelaw doesn't have the strongest marking hands in the league, but he's certainly very, very handy on the lead. Greenwood with the ball. He kicks the ball. Booker, just the better man in that contest. Sending it on its way. Bell Chambers with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Rocketed long by Stewart. Great mark under pressure. Nice drop punt. Myers couldn't hold on to that one. String it with the tap. Clean tap by Crisp. Side bottom. Marks on the run. Jams it on the boot now. Nice hands. Grundy has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. Hoskin Elliott boots it. Hurley gets the upper hand. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Sending it on its way. Kept his composure then. Trims the grass with that one. A mark by Bill Chambers. Puts boot to ball. Gathered by McDonald, Tip and Woody. He just can't get out of the action. Smith just gauging which way that wind is blowing. 
Smith did well then. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Smith needs to practice his goal-kicking routine. It helps a player handle any situation in the game. If he does that more often, then he might enter the league of the elite goal-kickers. Hipple receives the ball. He runs for home. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 45 metres out. Picked by Smith. Stringett winds it up. Almost in the bag from this position, you would think. Going for goal number one. Stringett scores with a beautiful kick. Essendon with a handy break, leading Collingwood 90 to 74. The bounce. One down by Grundy. Hook it with the tag. Down goes Heppel. Heppel kicks. Marked by Wells. Sends the Sharon on its way. Greenwood, the better man there. Greenwood is just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Trelaw kicks it long. The mark will be paid. For Solo, shoots for goal. Magnificent goal. Collingwood for trailer. All is in readiness. Look at that bounce. Bill Chambers timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. He gains possession. Broomhead guides it. Looks like he panicked there. Bagley looking like a Manchester United player. Batted down nicely by Bill Chambers. Merritt with the mighty fist. Side bottom bumped. Hipple bumped off the ball. He has the ball. He goes down in the tackle. Tapped by Hoskin Elliott. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Reed had it. Lost it. Maynard controls. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice hands. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Stewart puts it on the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Adams has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. He boots it. He claims the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Good mark. He slams that on the boot. Merritt takes the mark. Trips it down towards half forward. The mark is taken by Stringer. Pumps it inside the 50. Great mark over the pack. 40 minutes from home. Fantasia will avert his paycheck if he converts this one. A goal for Bessinger. The bomb is over. Collingwood by 16. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here we go. Bill Chambers with first hands to the ball. Moore with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Greenwood guides it. Goddard on the ball at the moment. Gains possession. Hippelt with a kick at goal. A mark by Fantasia. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. He's enjoying himself right now. He's smiling like the only shark in a shipwreck. Fantasia with that kick has increased the lead. Stewart with the tap. Trelaw gets the tap. Greenwood with the tap. Tackle but gets the handball off. Pick up by Merritt. Stabs the ball. Stewart has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Concentrating hard as he lines up the goal. Smith with the kick. Good mark. Chris boots it. Adams with good strong hands. Puts boot to ball. Hooker with the ball. Picks it. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the pig. Trelaw with the kick. He marks the ball. Sends it on its way. Elliott has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Gets boot to high. Broomhead drops the mark. Bill Chambers on for Essendon. First hand's important. The loose ball picked up by Broomhead. Moore guides it. He picks up the loose ball. Greenwood puts the ball in the hands of Faith. Gleason gathers. He's got the footy in his hands. Goes up the line. Hook it with the mark. Hastily kicked. He wins the contest. Gets boot to high. Good mark by Collier. Collier is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Stewart puts his boot on it. He takes a strong mark. He kicks it long. Smith with the ball. 
Going for goal number two. The goal for Essendon. That's his second. Smith puts them further in front. That's three in a row for Essendon. The Bombers in front. And there's the bounce. Cleared by Danaher. Handballs from the tackle. Adams puts it on the boot. Side bottom marks. Jams it on the boot now. The mark is taken by Heppel. Heppel wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Merrick slams the ball to his boot. It comes off hands and the ball goes out of bounds. And the umpire will throw it in. He clears the ball. Merrick has the ball. What a crunch. Trelaw taps the ball. It gets tapped. He scoops it up. Moore boots it. Dugowie taps the ball. He scoops it up. Trelaw scoops it up. Broomhead with real good use of the body. Broomhead feeds it wide. Great mark. Sends the ball inside his attacking 50. Let's have the shot at goal. Is as good as the delivery. 45 metres out. Kicks it long. He wins the contest. Pasolo tries his luck with a shot at goal. This game almost out of reach for the Magpies. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Danaher with the tack. Trelaw gets it on the bounce. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Danaher got a fist on it. The ball mopped up. And we have a ball up. Guided by Moore. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Stringer. Richo, what do you think about that? If the Bombers can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if Collingwood contend to make any inroads to this deficit. Lots of points scored during that third term. Let's check out the stats. Essendon and the Magpies are very level on the possession count, which reflects the evenness of this contest. Not a lot of difference. Both teams look like they enjoyed the three-quarter time break as we enter this, the fourth turn. Push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final siren sounds. Grundy directs it down. Tapped by Broomhead. Tapped by Heppel. Looks like he panicked there. The ball mopped up. Hurley with the ball. He's got the football now. Handballs from the tackle. to Degoe takes advantage. Nice interception. He boots it from the pack. Nice mark there. Heppel's just got a strong pair of hands when it comes to marking. Merrick boots it. Collier takes the mark. Sending it on its way. Stewart with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Booted by Fantasia. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 40 minutes from home. Stewart lets fly with a shot at goal. That's a very well executed goal. Good things coming through as that's his third. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Grundy with the tap. Broomhead is able to grab it on the half volley. Ball up in the center square. Guided by Grundy. Broomhead with the mighty fist. Good tap from Hooker. Gets the ball free. Smothers it. A favorable bounce. The ball's come out of the pack like a chocolate bar from a slot machine. He gives the ball away. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. The advantage is played. Elliott delivers a nice bump to Gleason. Hook it holding the ball as he's collected by Phillips. Phillips shoots. He's having a ball, if you'll excuse the pun. Calling would need to put in everything they have to try and turn this one around. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Look at that bounce. Bell Chambers really wears his heart on his sleeve. Sending it on its way. Goldsack giving away a free. Lining it up with the goal now. Smith boots it. He marks the ball. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Fantasia goes for home. He really had to make more of that. Not much on offer for Dunn. Plays onto himself. Sends the Sharon on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held onto it. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. 45 metres out. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. So close, but just a behind. Essendon by four goals. 
teammates scrambling to make a lead. He opts to play on with the ball. Sends it on its way. A good mark under the circumstances. Well, Collingwood haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Pendlebury slams the ball to his boot. Degoe puts his boot on it. Strong mark there. 50 minutes from home. He's on a 30 degree angle. Pasolik has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. 30 meters on. Pasolik drives the ball towards goal. The Magpies have scored the last two goals. They can still win from here. For Solo, seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Smith did not ease up. Adams goes to midfield. Broomhead kicks it. I reckon my mum could have caught that in a pin. Pendlebrick goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Nice mark under pressure. Kicked by Trelaw. Takes it well. Bagley. He's good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Myers puts his boot on it. Strong mark there. He kicks the ball. That's a mark. He kicks it long. Hooker with the mark. He slams that on the boot. Collier passes. McDonald to Woody with a big bump to Maynard. He picks up the loose ball. Stewart with the pickup. Picked up the ball. He gets a kick out of the pack. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Boots it. Nice mark there. 50 minutes from home. Fantasia steers the ball towards goal. That's a goal. What a long kick. Fantasia increases the lead. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Good tap from Grundy. Booker gets the tap. Gains possession. Has it now. Trelaw just squeezes the kick out. Hipple taps it. Oscar Elliott aims for his man on the ground. Tackle, but gets the handball off. He kicks quickly. Merritt with the mighty fist. Trelaw taps. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. To Gary. Feeling the pressure. Gets the quick kick away. Phillips tries his luck along the ground. Goal, but he's on song. He sings a very good song. That's his second. Going with they're in some real trouble here. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Look at that bounce. Definitely palmed to advantage. Stewart gets the tap. Down goes Bill Chambers. Chips it down towards half forward. Hands like dinner plates. Hastily kicked. The contest, no match for him. A rushed kick. Trelaw claims it. Kicks it. Broomhead from behind. 45 metres out. The kick from almost straight in front of the goals. Broomhead scores with a beautiful kick. That's two in a row for Collingwood. Momentum shifting back their way now. The bounce. Danaher got the hit out. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Hippel runs in. Hippel takes aim for goals. Hippel slots the goal. That's his second. Ominous signs for Essendon, three goals up now. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Grundy obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Hooker with the ball. Grundy gets the footy. Broomhead finds the running player. Broomhead kicks the ball. That's a mark. Bagley puts it on the boot. Side bottom with the mark. He spears the ball. Nice mark there. Gets boot to high. He shouldn't have bothered. Pendlebury bumped off the ball. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young, lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. Look at the big eaters. They're doing their exercise now as this ball comes into play. Saad with the mighty fist. Merritt slams it on the boot. Looks like he panicked there. Pimple guides it. He collects the loose ball. Guided by Curley. The ball mopped up. Elliot says, no, I'm over here. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Elliot with the tap. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. He boots it from the pack. A spiraling torpedo from Myers. He was never going to get that. Good tap from Grundy. Trelaw aims for his man on the ground. Kolyak made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. A low stabbing kick. Nice work from Adams. Adams has the passion for this game and that shines through every time he plays. He slams that on the boot. Danaher with a strong mark. He lays off the pass. Players with the one-two. 
Pendlebury with the kick. He marks the ball. Bagley boots it. Nice mark under pressure. Trelaw boots it. Elliot gets a fist to it. Peppel sends it out to open space. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Sends the Sharon on its way. Danaher may not be the first guy you'd follow in the battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He gets the upper hand. Side bottom kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. Hoskin Elliott kicks the ball. It's a mark. Pendlebury getting into position for the kick. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. Hooker sends one up towards the wing. Good mark by Goddard. Gets boot to Weber. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Slams it on the boot. Takes it well. Moore can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Pendlebury kicks it. He claims the ball. Adams looking for distance. A good contested mark there. He's been outstanding, going for goal number eight right here. Collingwood won't be happy to see that scoreboard. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Danaher with the tap. Stewart decisively. Side bottom taps. Trelaw keeps it alive with the foot. He gets tackled as he hands it off. He gets his hands on the footy. Yet another possession. Puts boot to ball. Done! He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. The long goal by Stringer. Essendon with the victory. Richo to wrap up the match. The misery is over for Collingwood. They really do need to reassess and figure out what's going wrong. Is it the tactics, the lineup, or even the talent at their disposal? They need to turn their fortunes around real soon. They cannot afford to put in performances like this one. Final scores are 134 to 106.